Hi, I'm Victor. Let's talk about the new trends and future directions of information technology. Specifically, we will discuss mobile technology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, virtual reality, augmented reality, and effective computing. Let's begin with mobile technology. It is a technology that goes where the user goes. It consists of portable two-way communications devices, computing devices, and networking technology that connects them. Examples are smartphones, tablets, and watches. Here are some of its communication networks. First, cellular network. Here are some details from www.verizon.com about the mobile network generations. The 1980s brought the first generation, or 1G, with voice-only analog service. The 2G network began in Finland in 1991. 2G allowed for call and text encryption as well as SMS, picture messaging, and MMS. The 3G network with more data, video calling, and mobile internet began in 1998. 4G was released in the late 2000s and is 500 times faster than 3G. 5G is expected to support as more people get access to mobile devices and as the Internet of Things expands by 2024. 5G is the fifth and newest generation of cellular network technology and it should expand the capacity for mobile networks. Second, Wi-Fi. It is defined as an abbreviation for wireless fidelity, meaning you can access or connect to a network using radio waves without needing to use wires. Third, Bluetooth. It is a standard for the short-range wireless interconnection of mobile phones, computers, and other electronic devices. Next to mobile technology in our list of new trends is artificial intelligence, or AI. According to www.builtin.com, AI is defined as a wide-ranging branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. Artificial intelligence generally falls under two broad categories, narrow AI, sometimes referred to as weak AI, and artificial general intelligence, sometimes referred to as strong AI. Narrow AI is a kind of artificial intelligence that operates within a limited context and is a simulation of human intelligence. Narrow AI is often focused on performing a single task extremely well. And while these machines may seem intelligent, they are operating under far more constraints and limitations than even the most basic human intelligence. AGI is another kind of artificial intelligence we see in the movies, like the robots from Westworld or data from Star Trek The Next Generation. AGI is a machine with general intelligence and, much like a human being, it can apply that intelligence to solve any problems. Narrow AI is all around us and is easily the most successful realization of artificial intelligence. Let us identify some of the most recognizable narrow AI to date. First is image recognition software. It is a computer program that can identify objects, people, places, writing and actions in images or video. The technology is used in many applications and in the creation of neural network that processes all the pixels that make up an image. For example, Facebook's facial recognition when you upload a picture or about to tag a Facebook friend. Second, Google search, also referred to as Google Web Search or simply Google. It is a web search engine developed by Google. It is the most used search engine on the World Wide Web across all platforms, with 92.62% market share as of June 2019, handling more than 5.4 billion searches each day. Third is Intelligent Virtual Assistant or Intelligent Personal Assistant. It is a software agent that can perform tasks or services for an individual based on commands or questions. Some examples are Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa. Fourth is self-driving cars. It is also known as an autonomous vehicle, driverless car, robocar, or robotic car. It is a vehicle that is capable of sensing its environment and moving safely with little or no human input. 
Fifth is a question answering computer system capable of answering questions posed in natural language, like IBM's Watson. It was developed in IBM's Deep QA project by a research team led by principal investigator David Ferrucci. Watson was named after IBM's founder and first CEO industrialist Thomas J. Watson. Here are other examples of narrow AI, conversational bots for marketing and customer service, robo-advisors for stock trading, spam filters on email, social media monitoring tools for dangerous content or false news, song or TV show recommendations from Spotify and Netflix, disease mapping and prediction tools, and optimized personalized healthcare treatment recommendations. Venture capitalist Frank Chen provides a good overview of what really is AI. He said, artificial intelligence is a set of algorithms and intelligence to try to mimic human intelligence. Machine learning is one of them, and deep learning is one of those machine learning techniques. In this definition, machine learning and deep learning were mentioned. Let us briefly define each term to better understand the definition. Machine learning is the science of teaching machines how to learn by themselves. The focus of the field is learning, that is, acquiring skills or knowledge from experience. Most commonly, this means synthesizing useful concepts from historical data. What are the applications of machine learning in our day-to-day -day life? Here are some of them. Smartphones detecting faces while taking photos or unlocking themselves. Facebook, LinkedIn, or any other social media site recommending your friends and ads you might be interested in. Amazon recommending you the products based on your browsing history. Banks using machine learning to detect fraud transactions in real time. Deep learning, on the other hand, is a type of machine learning that runs input through a biologically inspired neural network architecture. The neural networks contain a number of hidden layers through which the data is processed, allowing the machine to go deep in its learning, making connections and waiting input for the best results. Moving on to the list of trending IT, next in our list is called virtual reality. Virtual reality is the use of computer technology to create simulated environment. Virtual reality's most immediately recognizable component is the head-mounted display or HMD. Human beings are visual creatures and display technology is often the single biggest difference between immersive virtual reality systems and traditional user interfaces. Major players in virtual reality include HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR. Virtual reality places the user inside an experience instead of viewing a screen in front of them. Users are immersed and able to interact with 3D worlds by simulating as many senses as possible, such as vision, hearing, touch, even smell. The computer is transformed into a gatekeeper to this artificial world. Augmented reality is mistakenly identified as virtual reality. Let's differentiate virtual reality to augmented reality. Remember that VR creates an artificial environment to inhabit. The computer uses similar sensors and math. However, rather than locating a real camera within a physical environment, the position of the user's eyes are located within the simulated environment. If the user's head turns, the graphics react accordingly rather than composing virtual objects and a real scene. VR technology creates a convincing, interactive world for the user. What about augmented reality? It is like VR with one foot in the real world because it simulates artificial objects in the real environment. The computer uses sensors and algorithms to determine the position and orientation of a camera. AR technology then renders the 3D graphics as they would appear from the viewpoint of the camera, superimposing the computer-generated images over a user's view of the real world. Now let's talk about the future directions of IT. One of the many technologies foreseen in the future is called affective computing. Affective computing is also known as artificial emotional intelligence. It is the study and development of systems and devices that can recognize, 
interpret, process, and simulate human effect. Effective computing technology sends the emotional state of a user via sensors, microphone, cameras, and software logic, and respond by performing specific, predefined product or service features, such as changing a quiz or recommending a set of videos to fit the mood of the learner. Here are some of the minimum requirements of emotional intelligence. Recognizing others' emotions, responding to others' emotions, expressing emotions, and regulating and utilizing emotions in decision-making. How does effective computing work? One way to look at effective computing is human-computer interaction in which a device has the ability to detect and appropriately respond to its users' emotions and other stimuli. Facial expressions, posture, gestures, speech, the force of rhythm of keystrokes, and the temperature changes of the hand on a mouse can all signify changes in the user's emotional state. And this can all be detected and interpreted by a computer. A built-in camera captures images of the user and algorithms are used to process the data to yield meaningful information. Speech recognition and gesture recognition are among the other technologies being explored for effective computing applications. Let us take a look at specific sectors where effective computing will be deemed important. These ideas are based on the article of Professor Ahmed Banafa at www.bbvaopenmind.com. In e-learning applications, effective computing can be used to adjust the presentation style of a computerized teacher when a learner is bored, interested, frustrated, or pleased. In psychological health services like counseling, benefit from effective computing applications when determining a client's emotional state. Robotic systems capable of processing effective information exhibit higher flexibility while one works in uncertain or difficult environments. Companion devices such as digital pets use effective computing abilities to enhance realism and provide a higher degree of autonomy. Other potential applications are centered around social monitoring. Here are some examples of it. A car can monitor the emotion of a driver and engage in additional safety measures, such as alerting other vehicles if it detects the driver to be angry. Effective mirrors allowing the user to see how they should perform. Emotion monitoring agents sending a warning before one sends an angry email. Music players selecting tracks based on mood. And companies can use effective computing to infer whether their products will be well received by the market. And this ends our discussion about the new trends and future directions of information technology. Here are the references.